Hi everyone and welcome to EdTech Classroom. Today we'll be taking a look at some Zoom morning meeting tips and tricks. On today's agenda, we have first, setting up Zoom. Next, we'll take a look at some morning meeting activity ideas. And lastly, some closing reflection suggestions. Now without further ado, let's get started. Setting up Zoom. First, I logged into my Zoom account using my preferred internet browser. Then I clicked on this meetings button right here on the left hand side. Now I'm going to check to make sure my meeting settings are ready for morning meeting. To make some changes, I'll just scroll to the bottom here and click edit this meeting. Then I'll check to, check to make sure host video here is on. I'll check to make sure participant video is on as well. Now I'll look at my meeting options. I don't want my students to be able to join before me, so I'll leave this setting right here unchecked. I do want my students to be muted upon entry, so I will check this button right here. Now this next setting here, enable waiting room, is very important for student privacy and safety reasons. Make sure enable waiting room is selected, so only you can control who enters the meeting. Now I'll press safe, and we're almost ready to go. Now we're going to make some final touches to our Zoom settings. Click on settings here on the left hand side. Then click in meeting basic. This chat setting right here for me is turned on because I personally feel comfortable with students being able to send messages to the whole class. But if you feel it gets out of hand, you're welcome to turn this feature off. At the end of the day, do what is best for you and your students. Now scroll down to screen sharing right here. I always, always share my screen during morning meeting. You'll see why in a little bit. I have this button turned on. And I make sure my host screen sharing is on, but that it's off for participants. I don't want my students to share their screens as I don't really think it's age appropriate for my elementary age kids, but again, do what's best for you in your class. Then I always make sure that annotation is off because I also don't want my students drawing all over the screen. And I personally find this feature to be unnecessary for my classroom needs. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Moving on to the next section. As I mentioned earlier, I love sharing my screen during morning meeting. I think it makes it more interactive and fun for my students. I usually start with introducing the morning leader, discussing the agenda for the day, I might even read a story, and then I'll end with this fun brain break activity. Let's check it out. Brain breaks are a great classroom management and social emotional tool for kids. I use them with my students every day, both in person and remotely. You're welcome to use this activity, or you can come up with your own. I'll put a link to this activity in the description that you can check out after this video. So you'll see here that I've opened up Zoom and it's time for my morning meeting. As I'm wrapping up, I'll tell students that it's time to find out our brain break activity of the day. Then I'll begin by sharing my screen. So I'll click the share screen button and I'll click on the file I'd like to share. Then I'll go to view, present. Now it's time to play the game. So I'll ask our morning leader to pick a button. So for example, our morning leader might choose to pick this green one right here. Your brain break is wiggle your eyebrows up and down for 30 seconds. Or maybe they'll choose this one. Your brain break is play the air guitar for 30 seconds. So these are just a couple games that I like to play with my kids. Uh, again, you're welcome to do whatever you think is best for you in your classroom. Uh, but if you do like this activity, be sure to check out the link in the description. Now I'll stop sharing and then I'll end my morning meeting by clicking end meeting. Now more than ever, our students need and crave community, connection, and belonging. As teachers, we are emotional support systems for our students during difficult times. During my morning meetings, I also like to include a closing reflection assignment that students will end their day with. They won't do the activity right now, but I like to show it to them during the meeting so the day comes to a close in a full circle. 
Here's my example. Feel free to be creative. Zoom has incredible whiteboard capabilities that you can check out. I love the screen sharing feature, which I do with this reflection lesson. Okay, now we are in our Zoom morning meeting. Um, so to do this activity, I really like to do screen sharing, just like we did with the previous one. Um, but I kind of dive into this one a little bit more in depth. Um, so first I'll click the share screen button, then I'll click on my activity that I wanna share, and then I'll open it up. So then I'll say something about good morning friends. Um, today we're going to be closing our day by doing a rose, thorn, and bud activity. So I know that this is something that you all will be looking forward to throughout the day. Um, so yeah, this will be your activity. You'll basically just get to type your responses here. So for example, rose, what was a highlight or success from your week? A highlight from my week was getting to see you all in morning meeting. Now you can type your next response here. Um, so you just click on the text box and you can start typing your response. Um, so Thorn, what was a challenge or difficulty from your week? I could maybe say, um, it was difficult not getting to see my friends. And then lastly for Bud, I am looking forward to the weekend. So that's just one example of a closing activity that you could do with your students. I also created some of these other fun ones, um, an emoji feelings check. I really like this one. Students can basically click and drag their emoji based on how they're feeling and write a response about how their teacher can support them. Um, if you do like this activity, you can check it out uh, in the YouTube description. Um, but like I said, feel free to be creative. This is such an important time for kids to feel supported and loved by their teachers. Um, so I just recommend that you really use Zoom to its full capabilities to make students feel like they're being supported and connected with each other and with you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be posting tons of EdTech tips and tricks. Goodbye!